for the most part, it was a lot of fun. Um, spent most of it back in uh, Cranbrook, BC. I was able to come back to Ottawa a couple times, uh, once for the development camp and just another time for, for other business. And uh, also was able to get out to see my parents a couple times. They have a, have a farm just outside of Yorkton, Saskatchewan. And, and for the most part, just kind of kicked back, relaxed, and, and tried to kind of get your mind ready for the upcoming season. Well, we like to spend a lot of time out on the lake. I've got a, a wakeboard boat, believe it or not, and uh, my stepson, he's a pretty good wakeboarder right now, and and uh, believe it or not, I learned to, to wakeboard a little bit last year and this summer, uh, and toward the end of last summer, took up wake surfing, which is a, a lot easier on an old guy like myself. You don't quite or have quite the, the accidents you would on a wakeboard, and, and just spend as much time as you could out on the water. I've got a couple friends who have uh, places out on a lake in the interior of BC in the shoe shops, and visited them, and they have uh, boats themselves and just spend a lot of time, like I said, as much as you could out on the water. It's just really a lot of planning and preparation. You're trying to get your, your camp roster uh, solidified. You're planning your practices. You're working on your schedule, uh, identifying uh, players and which games they're going to play in the preseason. So there's just a lot of planning right now, uh, getting your, your, your preseason video ready so when the guys get into camp, uh, they're ready to, to kind of get right into it to learn uh, systems from last year and kind of build on that. So there's just a lot of planning and preparation work. Well, we're, we're really excited about about the team. We uh, we felt we had a very solid season last year. Obviously, we're disappointed we didn't get past for the first round, um, but we feel that we're going to have a lot more uh, depth as far as offense is concerned. Uh, you you know, we had some key injuries last year to some crucial guys going in the playoffs. You know, we're crossing our fingers that we won't have the injury bug hit us like it did last year. And obviously, with the addition of, of Sergey, that we're very excited. You know, we know what he's going to bring as far as improving the offense from from the back end and out and uh, we just got a real good group of guys you know I said it you know since day one I got here that, that I really like the character of this team uh, we hope to improve in all areas um, but there's a lot of optimism with this team and uh, we're very excited about it you know the traditional answers that's I'm not going to give you one of those I would love to have been able to and maybe in the future I will be able to go see the, the little brown jug uh, it's not the biggest purse but it's probably the most uh, notorious uh, harness race and uh, for three-year-old Colts and, and to me that would be a, a pretty big thrill it's held at just a little fair and uh, you know I'd love to be able to go down there for a couple of days and then just soak up the atmosphere and watch the race